This video highlights the teaching technologies available in the lecture theatres. We explore the applications of PowerPoint, but go beyond to see how faculty are using other technologies to engage students in their lectures. The video also introduces the technical and training support that faculty can expect to receive when they teach in the undergraduate program. Almost all of us that teach in the cardio block build into our PowerPoints some form of video that enhances a concept because the heart is such a dynamic organ. The lecture theaters are equipped with high-definition cameras, touchscreen controls, and a high-definition, very high-quality document camera. They are set up for PowerPoint slides with annotation pens, DVD, and Blu-ray playback. Faculty can access all these tools through a simple-to-use touchscreen interface that lets them switch back and forth between different elements of their lecture. When students participate in the lecture, they see two wide screens, one of which shows the instructor and the students in different campuses. The other shows the presentation and the document camera images. These images are streamed in real time to the students in the distributed medical program. The use of different media can certainly help to, um, to teach material in, in new, new ways. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily add anything if it's not constructive. They had slides that were just paragraphs of text. And you can't pay attention while somebody reads a paragraph from a slide in front of you from another city. I, just, I can't do it. I rarely have a slide up that is simply a slide with a series of bullet points. It will always have some sort of graphic either a graph or it will be a photograph or it will be some sort of a surgical or clinical image and I'll talk around the image that's on the screen. I, I'm personally, I'm over bullet points. We've got something called the document camera which enables the faculty to draw pictures and it can be delivered over the video conferencing in real time. And we use the document camera very specifically in the case wrap-up. We ask the students to elaborate on any questions that haven't been answered in the previous week and then we take note and write those questions out on the document camera all until all the questions have been asked and then we keep the camp document camera going so the students can follow the list of questions as we then go through and answer them one after another and those questions come from all three sites. Mm -hmm. So they can look at it and say okay well now let's take a look at this list of questions at the end is anything that I talked about not explained and they'll cross them as they go. Anything